Hey guys, this is the Desert Rush or Wreck a Box minigame in FF7 Rebirth. And in this video, I'll show you what I think should be the optimal route throughout the course. You've, with this route, you can very comfortably hit the high score of 42,000, which gets all the rewards, as well as have roughly about 15 whole seconds to spare. Right at the start, I actually turned to Cloud's right to hit the spark box, the one with the lightning symbol on it, and then I continue on to the right and make a full lap back to the starting point again. You see me use the Braver ability there to hit the big boxes. Generally, you always want to try to use Braver to hit the big boxes because it's a time saver. Braver is really the only skill that you ever need to use. I then immediately go straight to the next spark box. With Braver also, you always want to take a second or two to position Cloud nicely before using Braver because with Braver, you can do AoE splash damage and take down multiple boxes in one go if you aim it correctly. It is important to try to get as many of the small boxes as possible. It's okay if you miss one or two, but it is quite key if you are aiming for the high score of 42,000, especially the small 200 point boxes. You really want to not miss any of them. This is an example of good braver aiming. You can see that it took down most of the boxes. Now here I did a braver on these two spark boxes because I had the ATB bar to spare. I think that was actually a mistake. Rather just leave the two boxes there and take this red lift up so that you can use braver here. I wasted the ATB bar so I just had to normal attack down this spark box. Now there's two blue leaves here. You always want to take the blue leaf on the left. The blue leaf on the right takes you back right to the start of the stage or the mini game. The blue leaf on the left brings you back to the first area where I used the Braver and the two spark boxes. Now you want to take this red leaf up and then go for these two 1500 point boxes here and use Braver on them. This will clear the way to the next spark box and you want to take this down as quickly as possible. Clearing this spark box will make these three boxes killable I suppose. And here again you want to do a nicely aimed braver to take out all three boxes in one hit. Before moving along, there's one small alcove here with a few boxes and a time box. Again, two 1,500 boxes, you'll notice that I took the time to position Cloud and take out both boxes with one Braver attack. With that, you can head on to the next level. There are three boxes here, uh, blocking the way to the next red leaf, so you just want to take them out with a Braver. On this red leaf, you want to stay on the left of the leaf, because as you are going up, what I did there is I actually managed to hit a time box on the way up as well which gives you bonus time. Once you're up on this level, head to the side first and clear all these boxes because there's a hidden time box at the end of it. Then make a U-turn heading back. Clear the rest of the small 50 boxes and then you'll notice three big boxes blocking the way so use one braver to finish them off. I did notice a time box right on the ramp below so I took a small detour to kill it before finally heading up here. This is the final level of this stage and here what you want to do is just use Braver as much as possible. I ran out of ATB bars so unfortunately I had to do normal attacks on this box but that gave me enough or almost enough to use Braver and destroy the last few boxes. This already gives me a score of 42,900 and I still have 20 whole seconds to spare and you only need 42,000 to get all the rewards so you can see there's actually a lot of time to spare there's no need to rush through. This route minimizes the need to use the blue leaves because as you can see here at the end I'm sort of giving a demo hitting the blue leaf takes a lot of time and doesn't give you any points at all so the less leaves you use the better it is. Thanks for watching!